Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Air Holler with me, you heard 37 So in this episode, it's probably going to be the last episode, at least for now, of flying the Twin Otter. And it's a relatively short flight, not that short I guess for this plane, but it's uh, 320 miles, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's uh, Newark, Ohio to Cadiz, Cadiz, I've never heard of it, Kentucky. Uh, I've already flown over like 20 miles from where we uh, were in Zanesville. I've already just flew over there, so we're ready to pick it up. I have no idea what that is. Mirrors flute. I have no idea what that is. Let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up and flown over there. Got just under eight hours. No problem for us. Slow it up 320. We'll just add just a little bit. Oh, no, no, actually, yeah, we will. That's good enough. I was gonna get five more. Let's just go with that. All right, so we're gonna make this in the day, of course. So uh, let's move over to the plane. All right, everybody, here we are on the plane, Newark, Ohio. So let's go ahead and turn our, well our taxi light's already on, I think everything's actually already on that we need. Uh, obviously our GPS is already set up automatically. We'll fly at about, let's fly at 8,000 feet. That's, well, yeah we'll just go 8,000. So let's go ahead and taxi on over to the runway. Takes a little while to get it going, but once it does, uh, I gotta keep it going. It's finicky. See, let's set up our heading a little bit. It's at least close. Is it two forty three that we need to go? All right, there's two forty three. Go ahead and extend our flaps to 20 degrees. Landing lights are on. Oops. Turn our strobe on. There we go. Let's go ahead and enter the runway. <laughs> Ever so slowly. We'll do a rolling takeoff, just get lined up a little bit better. All right, let's go. All right. Of course, no retractable gear. Lose 10 degrees of flaps. Alright, fully retract the flaps, pull back on the throttle. Want to be in the red line over there. Like I've said before, you absolutely can set these engines on fire in the Twin Otter. It's extremely easy to do. All 
Alright, straight now, a little too much trimmed up. Alright, we'll turn on the autopilot, get our heading going. I'll fly it up to 8,000 feet, of course. Should I? I'll get a little closer to our line there. Hate these messages. All right, so we're on the way, and uh, I'll go ahead and speed this thing up. Be back in just a bit.
Alright, are we gonna slow this down for a minute? We're getting close. So I wanna check out the map, see the elevation of this airport. Alright, so 2 and 20, and it's about 500 feet. So we'll be landing obviously on runway 20. Go ahead and cut the power and descend. Speed it up again. Put the power. It's a nice one rain out there. I say I like the kind of nasty weather every once in a while. We live a lot about 3,000 feet. That ought to be good for the time being for our approach. There's no uh, approach or anything like that. GPS or anything like that into the airport. It's just a little runway, I believe. Might be us over there. I can't tell. 18 miles out. Well, Two X speed. Move it just a little bit. Goes crazy. Man, it just it wants to. Even when you hit the altitude pole, it just. It was crazy. Alright, getting a little slow. Put one notch of flaps in. Notice we are getting close. More to the left. Still a little more to the left. I don't see the airport anywhere. It should be right in front of us. We should be almost directly lined up on it. Really don't want to get too low. Let's see, are we still at two X? Yes. That can't be it. That looks like it's too far away. Although no, it, it is past the water. That it probably is us right there. Looks like we're right on it. The glide path. It kind of looks red and white. Alright, now we're too high. 
can tell that for sure. Let's go ahead and slow it down. Alright, we'll kill the autopilot. Cut the power a little bit. We won't get too fast, especially with a... Uh, we got 10 degrees of flaps out. Not sure what the flap damage speed is. All right, now we're on the glide path. Got <laughs> glide path, glide slope. So I believe it is just a really small airport, just one runway. Not, I believe I saw a picture of it when I was looking at airnav.com just to find out even what state it was in. It was just, it was just one little small building. There's nothing really around it as far as a city or anything. Get told. I think we need to get a little left. A little high. There we are. Go 20 flaps. Still need to get down a little bit. There we go. Wow, there's like nothing around it. Out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, 30 flaps, that's as far as we'll go. Got us a little high. Cut down on the power just a little bit. Alright, bring the power back. Whoa, there's a little cliff. A little off to the right. And we were a little off to the right. Otherwise not too bad. Been doing a pretty good job with this Twin Otter landing. Alright, there's no way to turn around up there. Let's go, go ahead and turn right here. So many of these little airports, it's like the train is so odd, the mesh, you know? Oh, there's just like cliffs everywhere. It was like that with FS Genesis, too. Alright, we'll turn landing lights off. Strobe is off. Go ahead and park this thing and be done with it. Just pull straight ahead. Easiest thing to do. Oh, 
All right. Stop right here. Put the parking brake on. Cut the fuel. Turn all the lights off. And let's go back over to air hauler. All right, we can go ahead and unload this thing. Lake Barkley State Park, Cadiz, Kentucky. I don't have, I'm in Kentucky, and I have no idea where that is. Yes. So, I guess that's it with a twin otter. I might make some like leisure flights with it or something and post them. I wanted to figure out how to like start it up manually, I think, but I never did. Been doing other stuff. There we are down there. So, what other planes? I'm not sure what I'm going to fly next, to be quite honest. I'll try and, maybe I'll import a plane that we haven't had, like the B-200 or the C-90B. Those are both by Coronado. Those are a little bit smaller than the King Air 350, and they're not the stock planes. But those are pretty nice. So I might do those. I might do something else. Done tons of the Skyhawk and the Baron. Wait, I don't think we even ever bought the C90B. But I could buy one of those. We didn't buy the B200. We could buy one of those. Anyone up for the Learjet? <laughs> I don't think we flew enough of that, did we? Man, that was, uh, got stuck in that plane. It was like we could never, could never get up, you know, in rank to get out of that daggone thing. DC3, we could definitely fly that. The hard, difficult kind of a plane, really. We could give it a go. So I'm not sure which will be next, but uh, anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, catch you on the next flight.